In this video, you're going to be finding that I am talking about books, many different types of books and many different types of authors. And the books and authors that I'm talking about, I mean, I did show real books, but the authors are not necessarily real or they didn't really write those books. And I sort of talk about a couple of different things, art, food, and you may not be able to understand it fully, but I hope that you enjoy and know that what I'm talking about is pretend. Now, I also want to make something really, really clear. At the time, I had this voice that I reverted to when I wanted to pretend. And it's supposed to be like kind of an American um, accent. And I'm pretending to be this person whose name is Julia S. Conroll. Uh, and so my voice was not my original voice at that time. And also, if you hear anything that sounds like, you know, a speech uh, impediment within that voice, um, my R's at the time were not as clear as they are now. Like, I couldn't say, like, R's at the beginning of words, or um, I would, I would, it would sound like an O sound when I would say, um, you know, like the word words. That would be like, you know, the, the R would be just replaced with an O sound. So if you do hear little glimmers of that, just know that that was going on and that was something, uh, an impediment that I have worked on in the past. And I can gladly say that that is better now and I am speaking much more clearly than I did. But that's the only thing I want to let you know before this video. Enjoy. In this wonderful piazza, in this wonderful palace or castle, is a secret treasure. Because all you know for this castle is, is filled with books from China's favorite capital, El Capitan. And the reason is this wonderful palace is famous for El Capitan's wonderful books. The marshes are very silvest in this building because there is a good way for 12 things because there's a great deal of books because all of these books have recipes somewhere in them. They talk about how the recipe was invented and a lot of spices go into Indian recipes. Besides, I think that Indian cuisine is one of the most popular in Taiwan because they also combine Indian food with China or Chinese Chinese food and they combine it with Taiwan food. This book right here is a wonderful tribute to the greatest luxury must, Mr. Kung Sun. Mr. Kung Sun was a very good writer. He wrote a book called John Russian, The Oldest of These. They show some Chinese art. They show some Chinese quilting. And everybody knows that Chinese quilting goes by color, not design. This is a picture of him when he is dead because this picture accidentally wasn't taken when he was. Because the people that were going to take a picture realized that when they went to the building, he was dead. He found them buried. But he couldn't sing a low hustle song, a hum, because he was dead. So what they decided to do was they decided to put one person and they decided to move him out because there was an extra mouth because there was only one person with a strange mouth. It was a little knob on his forehead and that made some music. And he sang the hum, do I no feed no so? And he sang all that in one piece. And in this book, there was tons of spices because all he did was he wrote a book about many spices. Now this piece says, spices are my favorite thing to make on Indian cooking shows. Spices are my sauce for Indian cooking. 
and for Chinese cooking because Chinese cooking is important to me and so is Indian cooking. This book is a famous tribute to all those Indians that say you are just so lame on doing books, Bimbi. And they have a lot of people in this building that are too winky right now and they're sounding like the person that was in the royal folking dancing, which is in Palermo. And they're enjoying the same experiences that you and me are doing right now. So that is one of the most popular books. But I have a book about the wonderful cowboy stories and the wonderful countries. Daniel Boone was famous in this book. This is a book about Daniel Boone, but someone acting as Daniel Boone because when this video was taped, he was not alive because his show, his traveling exploring show, was made a while long before that. So somebody else wrote this book. Now this is about doing some cowboy songs. And I actually have this book at home and I actually wrote the song Be Believe Hard Lou. And I have it famous at my mention. And Chinese cattling is not the same from the cattling you are used to doing at the ranch. Because cattling in China was like harder, harder, harder. And it was like in Egypt, because in Egyptian countrysides and villas and stinky villages and beaches, they enjoy making clock towers and horses go around those towers in China, Egypt, and India. So that is a wonderful book of Daniel Boone, um, Daniel Boone imitation. Now down here we have a collection of Manu chapters. This is a collection of sacred journeys across China. Because I'm at the library right now and you can find a bunch of things like this. And this one says, International product featured, which means that the national product is not okay to use because this book is actually a book written in blood. Now you you see red on this book. The reason it was written in blood because this book was made at a very at his time because Hitler the first he designed blood to be in this book. And he was rude. So the Nimic creator said, I will not announce any more people. They decided to erase it, but he tried to make sure it wouldn't. Because it was a soapy, a blood soapy, and it was a mogul that was very permanent and would not come off. So he got used to it for the next few days. And in this book is a big word that says, Bombed the man from historical limited limousines. And what the word limousines mean is that no one goes to those very places anymore. Because in China, they used to have some opera singers. Because one time there was an opera singer that was singing all the fashion that I played at the end of the day. And he was singing all kinds of different folk opera songs. But in those days, she had to use what she said because she forgot. And she messed up on a lot of them, but she didn't make a mistake because she just went on and did the opera with the and contingency. So we're going to set that book aside. Because right here is another good book that is a tribute to all citizens. This it says, Danger of Dreams. Now, the word Danger of Dreams means that you're walking into a door. Now, I read a book once about someone destroying a door and it actually popped alive. And she opened that door and it was a world of words and it was a world of lights, some wonderful white lights and yellow lights too. And she found that she was in a boat 
and she went across the, she went down the River Falls backwards, and this book has the story of her in here. And I'll read to you the most unexhilarating part, though, it's right here. All she did was she tried to avoid the continent, but she was having such a good time that she fell right down. The minute she fell, she had to draw a balloon to get herself from sea level to elfish altitude in the sky. So, this book is a fairy tale book, a Chinese fairy tale book, because she, her mother was Chinese, and she was in the same uh, piazza, and she was actually doing this uh, several times. So that's my description second copy. And the other copy, which was dedicated to this palace or this castle, was a book about men, greeting lost. Now, this book is really not a book that you should own in the library. This book is a story about someone was painting, a, someone was doing a Turkish to Chinese artisan, and she actually dropped the Chinese artisan because she got jailed. Now, in Mr. Perkins, that's the same too. He just did a painting and then it dropped. That's exactly what happened. That's why this story says, dropped and enjoyed for very little time. And you know why, didn't, don't you? Because I just told you. And inside this book, they, I, I actually scripted some Mr. Perkins information. I got Beanie Sedder to do all the work with that. And this book is dedicated to the Morelli family because the Morelli family was famous for painting because they made paintings about the sun setting. So, well, like, their, their favorite sunset was the African sunset. It was the African sunrise or sunshine because they liked the song, The African Sunrise. And they actually liked to listen to it all on the radio because they thought it was so dedication to those people who say, you know something, that sunset is really beautiful. I really want to see something like that sometime. That's why... There was a song in this book that says the African sunset. And there's a chapter or the story in this book that says the African sunset. In the Murray family, they painted a, a portrait of the African sunset in someone flying a fairy or a boat or a plane. So all of these books were dedicated to many wonderful families. All of them had a legend. All of them had a story. All of them were Chinese, Indian, or maybe Egyptian. To this day, I recall many books. But those families don't know when their adventure is going to stop or start. They just know when you will be delighted to be in speculation tones. <laughs>